All right, chip of the day. Uh, this chip is round. Uh, this is a um, CSLA 2DJI, um, or DJ1, not sure. Uh, DJ1, I think. Maybe I, I don't know. Data sheet doesn't show it. Um, so made in Mexico in uh, 18, 2018. Uh, by the Microswitch Freeport, Illinois. Microswitch, I believe, is part of Honeywell. And, um, or, it, or this part is now, it's part of Honeywell Control Systems, uh, or System and Sense, Honeywell Sensing and Control, that's what it is. Um, so what is it? It's a uh, C-shaped ferrite core with a little sensor board shoved in there. And then it's got three legs, okay? So it's a three pin device with this weird antenna on it. <laughs> okay, so what is this thing? Let's take a look at the data sheet. All right, here is the data sheet. It is a solid state sensor, a linear current sensor uh, in the CS series. Um, Linear output, AC or DC sensing, through hole design, fast response time, uh, output voltage isolation from input, blah, 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 blah. Um, micro switch is a current uh, using a Hall effect sensor. So it senses current. So the current gets set up in this loop, and the loop is broken, and there's a Hall effect sensor there that kind of monitors the, the uh, magnetic fields as they go from one side to the other. This kind of turns into a magnet and it measures the magnetic poles on those two things. All right, and it's uh, three pins. So we've got a supply, a ground, and an output. So those are the three pins. Operates between six volts and 12 volts at 20 milliamps max. It will, this one will sense up to 150 amps. That's a lot. 150 amps, so might be hard to test it, but we'll see. Um, offset voltage, we need to talk about that, I guess, a little bit. But yeah, this is the figure two. This is this is this thing. Um, so I'll show you a picture here. There's uh, the C-shaped uh, ferrite, and then that little board is shoved in there, and it just it's, it's not glued in, it's just kind of wedged in there and it's easy to pop it out. So um, I popped out the board and you can see front and back. I don't know what all the things are. It's got some deposited resistors and it's got a Hall effect sensor on it. So that's what there is there, okay? All right, so to hook this thing up and play with it, we're going to um, put a wire through the hole and that will sense a certain amount. If you need more sensitivity, you can take a couple loops. So every loop is a, is a doubling of the amount of uh, signal you'll see out here, but we'll, put, we'll just put a single one through. That's normally the way they're used. And then uh, we'll hook up power ground and output. The output uh, will be halfway, initially it'll be halfway between VCC and ground. It'll be sitting there, then as you apply current, It'll either go up or down depending if the current is flowing forwards or backwards. It will go. It will go that, like that. Um, so let's get this thing hooked up. Try it out. Okay. Um, let's hook this thing up. I need. Um, I need current to go through it. So I'm going to use. I'm going to use this big transistor. I did a video on this. I can get 20 amps through through this and it'll act as a nice 20 amp load. And then I've got uh, the sensor, so we'll put the sensor through the, through the wire here. Can you see that on camera? Uh, so it's going through the wire and then we need some voltage going to it. So uh, we'll hook up, uh, oh, let's see, let's hook up 10 volts. 10 volts, okay, and uh, that's within the range. Here's the minus and here's the plus. And then let's hook up the oscilloscope to the middle one. 
Uh, there's not enough room. I should put this on a should put this on a board. Oh well, that's good enough. That's good enough. Can you see all of that in there? It's all smushed in there. Okay. Um, and then we will turn on the power and uh, let's go look at the oscilloscope. All right, so we have uh, about five volts uh, going into the board. We're at half a volt per division, and we have five volts, which is half of 10. So the output set, this is the output. So the output sets halfway between your VCC. So it's sitting here or there. And then let me uh, turn on the power supply, and I need to hook up the... Uh, I need to turn the transistor on. Let's see now. And there we go. We got 20 amps. Let's turn it off. No current, current. So it's 0.2 volts. 0.2 volts for 20 amps. Oh, well, that's pretty handy. So 0.2 volts in that direction. Going down. Let me let me take the uh, toroid and put it on the other way and see if it goes up instead. Now I turn it on and it goes up. So yeah, so it will detect DC forward, forwards and backwards. So there you go. Uh, it does work. That's 20 amps. So just to be complete, um, I took the toroid off and threaded it the other way. Uh, so I uh, could measure forwards and backwards. All right, that was chip of the day, a CSLA2DG, a linear current sensor. Pretty cool.